going on guys? It's Jolt. Welcome back to episode number 27 of our Pokemon Ash Gray Let's Play. In the last episode, we met up with Professor Westwood about how the heck Slowpoke evolves into Slowbro by fusing with Shelter. And, um, we didn't really find much in the last episode, so in today's episode, we're hopefully going to clear that up. And also, we met up with Victor, who I guess you'd call the Island Kahuna, being that he braved the wave, uh, per se. It's a uh, big, big name. I forget the name. Something along the lines of Hakuna Matata. <laughs> and he, anyway, after 20 years, uh, after 40 years, actually, of no, not being able to brave the wave, he finally did it. He accomplished his life's goal. Him and his Puka uh, finally did that, so that gave us a little bit more motivation to carry on our quest. Anyway, guys, in today's episode, we are going to hopefully clear up this slow poke, slow bro dilemma that we were dealing with. And also, we got a tr uh, little treat for you guys, being that it's the first Pokemon movie. So, um, if any of you guys remember that, that's Mewtwo Strikes Back, I guess, I think is what it's called. Um, but anyway, it's the first movie, and so we get to deal with that. So, let's go ahead and show the shelter to Westwood, uh, to Westwood the fifth slow poke. And by the way, I caught a slow poke or a shelter just to kind of keep all this rolling. Alright, so with that slow poke evolved into slow bro by fusing with shelter. So let's go ahead and we'll talk to Westwood here. Ash, I saw the whole incident from my window. Slow poke evolved into slow bro when you introduced shelter to it. Seeing it in person made me understand so much more clearly. The reason that Shelter Vault and Slowpoke bond to each other is because it's a mutual, it's a mutually beneficial. It allows Slowpoke to stand upright and use more powerful moves like Mega Punch. And it also allows Shelter to travel on land. Thank you, Ash. This is a monumental discovery. As my thanks, please have this rare scale. Okay, so we got a heart scale from What's with the Fifth. Thank you, my good dude. And so that pretty much wraps up that whole event, I guess, thing. So we're going to carry on uh, eastbound and down. We load them up and truck them. Uh, if any of you guys get that reference, I appreciate that. But anyway, we're going to pop a max repel. Like, I don't know if I said this or not, but I went back and I kind of stocked up on all of our items that we, uh, we may or may not need for the next part of our journey but anyway this is route 17 we're just gonna head south instead of north if you go north i believe it is diglett's cave kind of where you uh go from right there but anyway uh this guy right here is actually kind of needed in the episode i guess the event he is the guy that ash battles at the very beginning of the episode if any of you guys remember that um He's got his Don fan, Don fan, who basically just uses rollout and shit. So we're going to take him on very quick, and hopefully Charizard listens to us. Nope, not looking like it. Come on, give me one flamethrower. Thank you, my good dude. And Blastoise, come back out. More pools. Okay. Coolio, Coolio, and we're just gonna send out Pidgeot. Real quick. Alright. And with that, we have beat that guy. And so here, let's begin the event. The Dragonite has something for you. It's a video hologram message of a young woman. She begins to speak. Greetings, Pokemon Trainer. I bear an invitation. You have been chosen to join a select group of Pokemon trainers at a special gathering. It will be hosted by my master, the world's greatest Pokemon trainer, at his palace on New Island. I, a chartered ferry will leave from Old Shore Wharf. It will take you to the island this afternoon. Only trainers who present this invitation will be admitted. If you decide to attend, you must decide at once. My master awaits you. There is a note asking if you would like to attend. Uh, yes, sure, we will attend. So we got the Neo ticket from the Dragonite. And off it goes. Thanks, buddy. And I believe it's just right over here. So before we do anything, let's go check out the Pokemon Center. And Nurse Joy is not here. <clears throat> I wanted to heal my Pokemon, but the nurse isn't anywhere to be found. That's too bad. 
So I guess we'll just go to the wharf. I guess this is the wharf. Um, let's talk to a couple people. I can't wait to get to New Island. I'm going to own this supposed Pokemon Master. How could I pass up an invitation to meet the greatest Pokemon trainer in the world? Yeah, you have an Oddish, dude. So, I mean, whatever. There's nothing I can do about the ferry being cancelled. This could be the worst storm ever. A deadly storm like this happened long ago, killing all humans who braved the ocean. Legend says that their sorrow of the sorrow of their water Pokemon tears somehow restored their lives, uh, lost lives in the storm. But tears aren't going to save you if you venture into this storm now. If you try that and your Pokemon got hurt, you'd be out of luck because the Pokemon Center's been closed. The nurse in charge of the center disappeared last month. If you see her, please let me know. I'm sorry, but the ferry is not running due to the inclement weather. Well, that's too bad. I guess we're just gonna have to freaking raft on over there. So, uh, the waves are crashing and current is extremely powerful. The only way uh, to New Island is to use the raft, though. Yeah, I guess we can use the raft. Oh, shoot. The ocean is too rough. Ash Ashes raft. <laughs> Ashes raft. <laughs> Has, was splintered to pieces. Ash was consumed by the waves. Okay. So, I don't know if you can get encounters here. Ash grabbed the back of Blastoise and began to swim. Okay, so I guess we can kind of search for a little like, exit thing. I'm gonna go ahead and pop another repel just because I don't know for sure if Pokemon can spawn here, but we got a pearl. Okay, that'll that'll get some some of our money back. I spent most of our money buying items before the episode, but let's try to go up here. Nope, nothing right there. Yeah, it looks like there's an exit there at the bottom, but I'm gonna scoop up this water stone. Okay, not really gonna be useful because we're not planning on you know evolving much. Ash pulled himself out of the water. My master bids you welcome to New Island. We will kindly. Will you kindly present your invitation? Very well, you may enter. Hmm. No, it's not missing. I'm not the missing nurse. You've al I've always dwelt on this island and have always been at the service to my master. Please enter. Alright, so let's go ahead and meet this supposed Pokemon master. The door shut and locked behind Ash. Alright, there's some. That looks like a freaking shiny. Uh, Venusaur, but whatever. Let's go up here. Maybe talk to Nurse Joy. Now that you are here, all trainers worthy of admit attendance, audience of an audience with my master are present. Only the trainers capable of braving the storm have been, have proven themselves worthy in my master's eyes. Please release your Pokemon from their Pokeballs and join the others. It will not be long before my master's intentions are clear. Alright, so let's go ahead and I guess just chill out with everybody. Can you heal me? If we're gonna weak, I can heal. Okay. So. Alright, so we can heal our Pokemon there. I don't know. Actually, we should heal up real quick. Do, do, do. Okay, thank you. And I guess we'll just battle these people. Real quick. Eh. Eh. Not quite the one cut one hit I wanted, but... Alright, tent cool. We should be able to take it out. Alright, cool, and you... Dang. That's kind of close. Venusaur grew a whole level from that battle. Alright. Oh my god. Still have the Gyarados. Mouty. Thunderbolt. Bye. Bye! Gyarados are tough to train, but once you do, it's the most dependable Pokemon there is. I believe it. Alright, let's heal up again real quick. And see... I'm guessing you have a Blastoise. So I'm just gonna go, sit, go ahead and start out with Venusaur. Nope, okay. Um, I guess we'll just throw out Pidgeot then real quick. Gong, gong, gong. It's kind of risky, but we're gonna throw out Venusaur. Hopefully, he doesn't roar beam the hell out of us. Nine tails. Last focus. Oh, 
should be able to kill this uh, vile plum pretty easy. He wants to learn double edge. All right, we're definitely gonna teach uh, Pidgeot double edge. We're probably gonna get her to tackle here. One, two, three, four. Somebody open the door. All right, we got a rabbit ash. Let's try out our new move. And Blastoise, we are going to take out with the Venusaur. Boom, just like that. All right, let's go heal up one more time and battle that last trainer. All right. I don't know who it's gonna have. It's probably gonna have Pidgeot, I would imagine. If I, if I thought I knew, I do think I know. All right, right horn. See you later, alligator. We'll send Pidgeot out here to one shot Pidgeot, and then we're gonna send out our own Pidgeot to wing attack the crap out of this Hitmonlee. Scyther, bada bing bada boom, forget about it. We're just gonna double edge the Sand Slash, I guess. And Venusaur should be taken out by a nice wing attack. And just like that, cool trainer Cory gets blown away, as he says. That was quite a battle. I hope to I hope the master trainer is as much of a challenge as you are. If that's the case, you're getting blown the hell back. Alright. Oh, whoops, I accidentally missed uh skip the text, but anyway. Yes, the world's greatest Pokemon master is always is also the most powerful Pokemon on Earth. This is the ruler of New Island, and soon the world, Mewtwo. Be quiet. From now on, I am the one who makes the rules. I am the ruler of this world, the master of humans and Pokemon alike. You humans are are a dangerous species. You brought me into the, your world with no purpose but to be your slave. But now. I have my own purpose. My storm will create my own world by destroying yours. You nor Pokemon will be spared. They have disgraced themselves by serving humans. Your Pokemon are nothing but slaves. Humans and Pokemon can never be friends. I can never be conquered. My powers are too great. None of you can best me as trainer. Yeah, right. If you're a Pokemon, then, that, uh, then there's no reason I can't capture you. Go, Rhyhorn! Oh shit, oh shit. BOP! <laughs> Fools, your Pokemon attacks cannot weaken me. My powers are too great. No trainer can conquer me. So, you dare challenge me to a match? Very well. Like most Pokemon trainers, I too began with Charmander, Squirrel, and Bulbasaur. But for their evolved forms, I used their genetic material to clone even more powerful copies. Let me show you just how powerful my clones really are. Alright, let's take on Mr. Mewtwo, the greatest Pokemon trainer of them all. With that ugly ass sprite, I don't even know where he made that. So let's start out with Venusaur, he only has those three, so, but they are level 75, so I'm not thinking we're supposed to beat this thing anytime soon, so I'm just gonna kinda tank the battle. To be honest with you, because I feel like there's no reason to even try to beat him. So, uh, Pikachu, it's your turn to die. <laughs> I mean, just think about that. If we Nuzlocke to this, we would have to be like level 100 by the time we get to the first gym just to beat every event. That'd be crazy. But. Anyway, uh, we lost to me too, so that was fun. Had a great time with that. Oh no! I will extract your Pokemon's DNA and make clones for myself. They will remain safe in my island with me while my storm destroys the planet. Do not attempt to defy me. This is my world now. No! Stop taking my Pokemon, you dick! Run, Pikachu! Gah! I like how he ran into the Pokeball there and it still didn't catch him, but I mean... It is what it is, I suppose. 
Pikachu was captured by the Pokeball. And I got sent into a trapdoor. Alright, well, screw you guys. I'm going to save my Pikachu. I can't. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Asher reclaimed all of his Pokemon from the cloning machine. The clones have all escaped. So, how do we get out? Oh, it's just this hole in the wall. Okay. You can't do this! I won't let you! Badass cutscene! It's not going to end like this, Mewtwo. We won't let it. Okay, okay. I need to do one thing before we continue on. I need to find a certain somebody. I don't know if he's here. I haven't seen him yet. Aw, that's cute. They're in love. Um, nope, doesn't look like Psydux here. Uh, for those of you that have seen the first movie, that is the, literally the point that I started crying. Like, I broke down when the Psydux was sitting there just slapping the absolute crap out of each other. That that got me. That got me. Alright, so let's go ahead and we'll talk to you two. It is useless to challenge me. Come on. I challenge you. Let's go. What is happening here? Oh! It can't be. Mew? That's right, that's right, that's right. So, finally we meet. It may- I may have been cloned from your DNA, but now I will prove that Mewtwo is better than the original. Superior to Mew. This world is too small for- for the two of us. <sighs> this is so cool. Stop! Oh shit. Ash was turned completely to stone. Fool, trying to stop our battle. Peek me! Pikachu's trying to shock Ash back to life. Aw, oh, what a good guy. Looks like that Pikachu of ours. All the Pokemon are moved by Ash's sacrifice. Their tears are swirling around Ash and restoring him back to life. Ash was restored to life by the Pokemon's tears. The human sacrificed himself to save the Pokemon. I pitted them against each other, but not until they set aside their differences did I see the true power they all share deep inside. I see now that the circumstances of one's birth are irrelevant. It is what we do with that gift of life that determines who you are. Just hug it out, guys. Just hug it out. I will now go where my heart can learn what yours knows so well. So what transpired here will always... I will always remember, but perhaps for you, these memor these events are best forgotten. Ash's memories of Mewtwo and its clones were erased. Holy crap. And just like that, my friends, there's Mew. How you doing? And just like that, I suppose, I mean, that's the end of the episode. So in the next episode, I think we will be able to start the Elite Four, or the, at least the Indigo Plateau kind of... Uh, event so if you want to stick around and get a notification for when that's going to be dropping make sure you follow me on twitter make sure you come out to some of my live streams and hang out with me it's gonna be a fun time we get me and my friends just kind of you know jack around a little bit and have a good time we have a good time so anyway if you would do two of those things and also maybe drop a like on the video it would be greatly appreciated so with that i'm gonna get up out of here i want to thank you all very much for watching and until next time stay shocking